the thing I want you to think about is this. I really believe in something called behavioral activation therapy. And said very simply, behavioral activation therapy is the concept that if you want to change, if you want to be a better you, just start acting like the person that you want to be in the future right now in your today-to-day life. That the actions that you take today are what will turn you into the person that you want to become. And look, I know you have a vision for yourself. There is a version of you that you hold in your heart and in your mind that you see that is a better version of the person than you are right now. The you that has a better, more fulfilling job or career. The you that is truly enjoying a deeper connection in your relationship or marriage. The you that has better eating habits, better physical habits, the you that really is experiencing a better connection to the meaning and purpose in your life. That life that you envision, you're capable of achieving it. You can do the work to make that version of yourself a reality, but it's not going to happen out of thin air. You got to put in the work. And I personally believe that that work begins first thing in the morning. That every single morning, you can wake up and experience a clean slate. You can wake up and you can create a morning routine. Not that the you right now likes, but the morning routine that the future you needs. And the bottom line is, whether you consider yourself to be a morning person or not, a morning routine is essential. A morning routine is like, the first domino. Let's just agree that every single day of your life, you wake up and you have the opportunity to create a new experience in your life. And that first series of decisions that you make, which are basically your morning routine, it's like the beginning domino that falls. And if your morning routine sucks, like my morning routine used to suck, The first domino that falls in your day is procrastination, stress, anxiety, depression, suckiness. And that tends to trigger a whole lot more of that. Now, let's talk about the other option. Have you ever had a morning where you rolled out of bed because you had to be somewhere? You actually met a friend at the gym and the exercise class was not only not that bad, it was kind of fun. And you felt really energized and proud of yourself for going. And you were set up for the meeting that you had. You were prepared. What's it like when that domino falls? It feels good, doesn't it? It makes you feel confident and alive and proud of yourself. It kind of creates this energy and this motion in your life. And that brings me to a simple statement. The solution to almost all the problems in your life is your morning routine. If you were to get serious about creating a morning routine that makes you feel like a million bucks, that sets you up with the structure and momentum and positive choices that act like a domino, that send you into your day feeling like you have started the day off with a bang, checking the right boxes, getting it done, feeling proud, putting yourself first, Imagine how the rest of your day flows. You see, how you set your day up is how it ends up. I'll say it again. How you set your day up is how it ends up. And if you are serious about making more money or making change stick or getting things done or just feeling happier or finally learning how to put yourself on the list, let's get laser focused on your morning routine. Because when you get laser focused on your morning routine and setting yourself up for success from the get-go, it's pretty amazing what flows from there. And so before we get into the components of my million-dollar morning, I want to tell you about the old Mel. And for those of you that listened to the episode that we did about how to create an evening routine that truly sets you up for success in the morning. You have heard part of this, but the old Mel was a complete 
flipping disaster. I don't even recognize the sad sack of a human being that I used to be. I was addicted to my excuses. I was addicted to my alcohol at night. I was addicted to feeling miserable and to complaining about my problems. In fact, you want to know the first decision I made every single day for years, decades, in fact, the very first decision that the old Mel Robbins used to make. I'd hit the snooze button. Now let's just stop and unpack that, okay? You wake up, the alarm goes off, the sun is out. You have a brand new day in front of you. There are people around the world that died in the middle of their sleep last night. They didn't get another day, but you, my friend, you got another day. And instead of waking up, getting up, making the most of the next 24 hours of your life, you know what the old Mel Robbins used to do? <clears throat> Hitting the snooze button is procrastination in its biggest form. But you're not procrastinating on a paper. You're not procrastinating on a project. You're not procrastinating on a call or a chore. You're procrastinating on your fucking life. You're basically going, the first decision I'm going to make today in this miraculous thing called life is to not do it. I'm just going to avoid it altogether. I have the option to make the most of this time. I have the option to put myself first. I have the option to move my body, to practice mindfulness, to go outside and listen to the birds. But you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to procrastinate. I think I'm going to avoid it. I think I'm going to roll over. I think I'm going to just opt out. And for me, I can now see that since the first decision I made was to avoid doing what I needed to do, it's so fucking obvious why I was a chronic procrastinator, because I began every day like that. And as you hit the snooze button and you avoid facing your life and you avoid facing the day, you're not feeling confident. You're not feeling energized. You're not feeling in control and empowered. You are basically embodying your excuses, your fears, your anxiety, your frustration, your fatigue. It all begins with the decision you make first thing in the morning. I believe that. And the reason why I'm being overly dramatic about this is because one of my biggest problems in life is that I avoided the hard stuff. I had a million reasons why I couldn't fix things or get a new job or pay off my bills or why I couldn't make things better or why my husband was to blame. And so if you're sick of your excuses, if you're sick of snoozing on your dreams, if you are sick and tired of letting procrastination and doubt and overthinking and anxiety run your life, let's talk about your fucking morning routine. Because let me tell you what the life of a chronic snooze button person looks like. It begins in the morning. You hit the snooze button four or five times. That was me. I'd stare at the ceiling, think about my problem, snooze, snooze, snooze. And the rest of the day, guess what else I was doing? Snooze, snooze, snooze on the problems avoiding the phone call I needed to make. That's hitting the snooze button on that. Avoiding the networking I needed to do. That's hitting the snooze button there. Avoiding the hard conversation I needed to have. That's hitting the snooze button there. Blowing off the gym, another snooze button. It's not just about how you wake up. It's how you wake up, how you set up the day. That's how it ends up. The snooze button, that is just one example of the series of disastrous choices I would make for myself. Whether it was hitting the snooze button five or six times, waking up late, not giving myself enough time, skipping breakfast, never having time to exercise, never being organized about anything. It was just honestly a nightmare. And I always say you are one decision away from a different life. And one of the things that has changed my life is deciding that I didn't want to do that anymore. That hitting the snooze button every single morning was not going to help me change my life. So when I finally got serious about first getting out of bed and then secondly, creating a small 
series of promises that I make and keep to myself every single morning. It was a game changer. Before we get into the components of this simple morning routine that, honest to goodness, I mean, it's been such a game changer for me, is I also want to address something. You're getting to know me. And as somebody who has struggled with childhood trauma and anxiety, I also have come to realize how profound of an act it can be sometimes to just get out of bed. And I will share from personal experience with you that winning the battle first thing in the morning to not succumb to the feelings of anxiety, to not let the heaviness of depression or overwhelm pin me to the bed, learning how to just roll through a simple series of promises that create structure and momentum, particularly on those mornings when I am not feeling it. It's a game changer because there will be many mornings when you wake up where you're not going to be feeling it. There are going to be lots of periods in your life where your anxiety may spike or you're struggling with grief or depression. And being able to come back to this simple morning routine, it's almost like a way to create guardrails on the road of your life that these are simple things that you know you can rely on so that you feel like yourself no matter what's going on within you or around you. And when I start to think about my morning routine, not in the lane of we're in the military or I'm a Navy SEAL or I'm training for a marathon or this is what billionaires do, which is one of our most popular YouTube titles. It's not even my title. Somebody took a bunch of my videos and mashed it up into something and was like, the morning routine of billionaires. But when you think more about your, your morning routine, it's just a simple series of promises that make you you. That no matter where you are, no matter what you're going through, that these simple series of promises are things that you do every day to start your day, to take care of yourself, to set yourself up, to get the ball rolling, to put yourself first, to tap into your energy, to boost your mood, that these simple series of promises are going to create some simple discipline in your life that you can rely on, that you know that you're the kind of person that if you say you're going to do it, you do it. That is the greater power in a morning routine. Yes, it will set your day up for success. Yes, it is the first domino to fall. But over time, what I have found to be really interesting about your morning routine is it makes you more of you. And I'm going to warn you, this is not a sexy topic, okay? Morning routines are boring. They are repetitive, but that's good. Because this concept that I talk about, simple discipline, simple discipline, simple promises. This is the foundation to an incredible life. Because when you know that you can keep a promise to yourself, your life opens up in ways that you can't even imagine. Because you know that you can count on yourself to do absolutely anything that you say you're going to do. And so this concept of using a morning routine to create simple discipline in your life and to practice keeping simple promises to yourself it is a muscle that is going to pay dividends that are priceless because it's the foundation of confidence and it's the foundation of resilience and it's going to help you tap into this power inside you. Today, we're going to talk about the topic of morning routines. And I love my morning routine so much, I call it the million dollar morning. Yes, it will set your day up for success. Yes, it is the first domino to fall. But over time, 